you need a little extra help managing your Airbnb, maybe someone that can help you coordinate the cleaning or maybe someone that has housekeeping operations already set up, well, a co-host can be a good option with Airbnb. So we're going to talk about that this week. Stay tuned. Welcome to Short Term Rental Riches, quick actionable ideas to help you along your real estate investment journey, but with a specific focus on short term rentals. An important topic for you this week, if you are looking for a little extra help managing your properties, or maybe you're getting a property ready to launch for the first time, and you're looking for someone to help with uh, coordinating housekeeping or answering guest messages or coordinating maintenance if something should pop up. Well, co-hosts can be a great option uh, and co-hosts are available on Airbnb. So we're going to talk about how you can find one, some things to consider, uh, how you can pay them automatically and what exactly they can do for you and what they can't do for you. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. A co-host is someone that helps you co-host your property. So they have access to a lot of the features for your listing. Now, this is just for Airbnb, so keep in mind if you're on VRBO or HomeAway or Booking.com that you're going to have to figure out access for this person on those other sites as well. So Airbnb has this cool little feature called a co-host, allows you to share actually quite a lot of things. So what can a co-host do? Well, they can help create a listing. They can message guests. They can see your inbox. They can help manage reservations. They can write reviews for you on your behalf. They can update your calendar or your pricing. And they can really just help coordinate the whole process. And depending on your agreement with your co-host, you could be paying them a small percentage uh, or you could be paying them to basically just manage your whole property for you like a property manager. And that's going to determine the cost that you're paying. Now, if you've used some of the tools and things we've talked about in prior episodes uh, to help with the management, so management software and guest messaging, and a lot of these tools, well, then the work for your co-host is going to be a lot easier. So you could probably negotiate a, a much lower price if you have a lot of those things automated already. So what can't they do? Well, they can't access your payout information. And that's, I guess, really one of the only things they can't do. So when you set up a co-host, you can invite them through Airbnb. You can find it just under your uh, listings. When you pull up your listing on Airbnb, you'll see it there. And now you can also automatically pay them. So you can do that as a percentage split, whatever you guys agree on, and Airbnb will automatically route that to them after reservation. So that makes that part super, super easy. So a co-host can do a lot of great things for us. They can help uh, really manage our whole property. So how do we find a good co-host? Well, I've got just a couple recommendations. You're going to want to jump on Airbnb, do a search in your neighborhood for available listings, and see what pops up. And I would, I would look for listings that have more reviews. That way you know that whoever's managing that property has been doing it longer. And of course, you want to find one that has um, not only a lot of reviews, but good reviews, a good rating. A super host would be great. Check those listings first. The chances of finding a co-host is going to be a lot easier if you're looking at properties that have a lot more reviews. So you basically just log into Airbnb, look for properties in your area, and then you'll see the owner or the host there. You can go ahead and click on that and you can message them right through them. So I would just say, hey, you know, I'm looking for a little additional help with my rental or maybe you're just getting started. A co-host can be a great option because if they're already managing properties, that means they already have housekeeping set up. They likely already have some maintenance contacts in your area and they've kind of got the whole operation ready for you if you don't have any of those pieces of the puzzle together yet. So they could be a great option when you're first starting out. We have so many great software tools available that we can automate a lot of this and ideally we can manage it ourselves, but have delegated a lot of the daily operations so we can operate our properties as passively as possible. But if you're just getting started or you just want to be totally hands off, co-hosts can be a great option. Remember, that's just for Airbnb. So if you're on other platforms, which I recommend, you're going to have to work something out. You could use the same co-host 
I'm sure you could work something out with them, but you're just going to have to grant them access to your different listing sites. So take a look at Cohost. If you're looking for a little additional help to help you with all those things we mentioned, guest messages and housekeeping and coordination. And if you've got a lot of it automated already on your end, then you can probably negotiate a better price. So hopefully that gives you a little insight. If you're just getting started, I think it can be a great option. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Want to get on the fast track to financial freedom through short-term rentals? Well, it all starts with the properties you acquire, but you want to make sure that you acquire the right properties. I want to give you my ebook that will show you how to do just that. There is no charge. It's my gift to you for being one of our subscribers. Just go to restmethods.com. That's R-E-S-T methods.com.